friends and welcome back to Maths in Remote Learning and happy Thursday! Today we're going to be doing some more subtraction with number lines and you've already done that Monday and Tuesday so I think you'll be pretty good at it today. But first I need you to get your number line out of your pack. Now you might have glued it into your book on Tuesday or Monday and that's a great idea so you don't lose it. But I need you to get that out right now. And today for our warm up, when I roll this dice, you need to count back two places. We're going to look at two less today. And we already know how to jump on our number line, so you're going to jump two places backwards. That means it's going to get smaller towards the zero. Okay, are you ready? Get your number line ready. Here we go. It is a... Oh, it's the number 13. Again, that is Miss Hempel's lucky number. Again, that's crazy. Again, that is lucky. <laughs> Ready? 13. There it is. We know it's a teen number. It's got the one in front. We're going to count back two. So two less than 13 is one, two. <gasps> 11. Did you say that? Good job. All right, let's go again. Oh, there we go. It's a bit far away. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, Ooh, we've Ooh. got a smaller number today. Eight. All right. What is two less than eight? All right. Put your finger on number eight, and I want you to think, what is two less than eight? Ooh. One, two. <gasps> six. It's six. So eight, take away two, is six. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's get magic. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, good number. That's a 19, that is the nine. All right, so 19, it's got the number nine in it. I can see it's right there. What is two less than 19? Ready? One, two, oh, 17, did you say that? Great job, it's 17. So I could say 19 take away two is 17. All right, perhaps let's have a look at some, what we're going to do today. I might pop my number line up here so we can see. Da, 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 da. It's not, there we go. All right. And here is our worksheet for today. Now it looks like what you did on Tuesday, but it's a little bit harder. So you need to get your crayon. It could be any color. Just make sure it's a light color so we can still see. And your gray lead. Now it's really important to circle the number on your number line. So first we need to color in the bigger number and remember it's always going to be the first number because we can't take away something if it isn't there so then the first number is always the biggest with that same crayon i've got the number 20. i'm going to circle the number 20. now this is where it gets a bit trickier because i'm going to be looking at some bigger numbers oh dear it is a bit oh dear but you can all do this it just means we need to be careful counters all right we're going to jump back 17 places so we're going to count up to 17 are you ready get your gray lead we've got one, one two, two three, three four, four five, five six, six seven, seven eight, eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Whoa, that was a lot of counting. I need to circle the number that I landed on. And don't forget to do your little arrow to show that you went backwards. Oh my gosh, look at all that jumping we did. So 20 take away 17 equals 3. Oh my gosh, that looked so hard. But when we jumped on the number line, it really wasn't that hard. Let's do another one. Let's do one more together. We've got 12 take away 4. Remember to colour in the biggest number. We're going to circle the number 12. There it is. And with that grey lid, we need to jump four places backwards. Ready? One, two, three. Four. We'll do our little arrow. What did we land on? The number eight. So 12 take away four equals eight. These would look really tricky, but mm. if we use our strategies of jumping back with our number line, they really aren't that hard. Now, perhaps 
if these numbers look a little bit hard, that is a big tricky T number. I'm not sure if I know that. One way I can to check it is use my number line again. Oh, it's a clever little thing that. It's got a one and an eight. Hmm, I'm going to count up and I can count forward. I know how to count all the way till I get to this number and that's going to help me. Are you ready? We're going to use the number line. That's a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, there's a one and an eight, just like that one. So I know it's an eighteen. I'm going to color it in. Now it's really important that you say the number out loud. Eighteen. And don't forget we need to add the mm sound on the end if it has a one in front. 18. This is still a tricky number. I'm not too sure. Let's just check and so we can say the number. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, they're the same number. It's a 1 and a 2. It's a 12. Oh. Thank, that's a, thank goodness I checked because I was thinking it might be 21. But so you can check to make sure that you're saying the right number. Now I need to jump back 12 places. So let's count backwards from our biggest number. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What did I land on? Oh, the number six. So then that is 18 take away 12 equals six. Remember to say your equation once you've finished it and it helps us remember them. All right, perhaps have a go at finishing up the rest of that worksheet and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.